Hi everyone, my name is Sam and I am a nursing student. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be building my dream desk setup. Currently, I use my desk for online school, editing my YouTube videos, um, streaming, playing video games, pretty much everything. So I wanted to revamp my desk and make it a lot more minimal, organized, but still really functional for all the things that I want to use it for. So I got some new furniture that I'm going to add to my desk to help with the organization. So I'm really excited to revamp my desk and let's get into the video. This is what my desk looks like right now. It's pretty cluttered and disorganized. I have my PC on the desk because I have carpet in my room and you're not supposed to put your computer directly on carpet. So ever since I got it, I've always had it on top of my desk and I kind of liked it on there just so I can see the inside of it because I did build this PC myself and I thought it was really cute and I added LED lights and everything. But honestly, I think I'm going to try to put it down into this cart so that I have more space on my desk. And then I just have this monitor stand that I keep like my wireless headphones in for school and some pens, my lip balm. And this is my monitor. So this is actually a gaming monitor. I recently just re-added this monitor back. I had lent this to one of my family members but I wanted to add a box so that I can use it for editing and it's really really helpful for when I, when I want to watch something while I study so I just added it the other day but I'm going to organize it because behind it my printer is hiding and I definitely need to move it so that I have more space and it's not so cluttered now this is kind of the mess underneath I just used this card from Amazon to store um, just papers, my binders for school, kind of just all the supplies that I need. And then I keep my paper for my printer under there because I don't really know where else to put it. And on top of it, I have my laptop. So this is why I need to reorganize because I just have things everywhere. And over here is kind of a mess, but I've done a pretty good job of cable management. Um, it's just this side because I like to keep things accessible to make things easy to plug in charge and everything like that so i will definitely just organize this a little bit more so my game plan here is going to build a new shelf for underneath my desk that i got from ikea and i'll be putting my printer my new laminator my laptop all the papers binders and everything in there to store it in a nice organized way then i will move the monitors together so that they look organized and I'm going to actually remove this middle shelf from this cart and try to put my PC in it. <laughs> I have a big project ahead of me. This is the shelf that I got from Ikea. It's called the Smagora and it's basically a three cubed shelf. Okay, you guys, I'm a little disappointed. My cart thing, I thought I measured it, it doesn't fit my tower. So I'm gonna stick it back onto the desk, but I think it still looks good under here like that. So I'm just working on my cable management right now. I use these little cable management holders. I really like these. I got these off of Amazon, I think, and they're just like, a J shape and you just stick it onto the back of your desk and you just tuck all the wires in there. So I have two of those.
done setting up my desk. So this is my PC. I built this myself about a year ago when COVID started. Um, and then I just got these um, LED strips from Amazon. You can just connect it straight to the motherboard and it lights up and you can control the colors. Um, these stickers are just from Teddy Fresh when I bought some stuff from there. This lamp is from Costco. Uh, my boyfriend's mom got it for me for Christmas one year and I absolutely love it. You can change like the mode that you want and you can also make it dimmer or brighter so it's perfect for studying or even just to have good lighting when I have my camera on. These speakers that I have, they're Logitech but they're just from Amazon but they're awesome because I can play music out loud in my room. Um, right here is where I would put my camera because I actually don't have a webcam so I do use my DSLR camera for like zoom classes just because back when I built my computer um, webcams were really really expensive it was like $250 for a good webcam so I ended up just buying this charger that you can plug into the wall and this connector that you can connect to your computer and I turned my DSLR into a webcam so that's what I use so I'm going to put my webcam here that's why it looks a little bit unsymmetrical. These are my monitors. So this is my main monitor that I bought. Um, it's Acer. It's 144 hertz so it's perfect for um, gaming. <laughs> and this is my main monitor because it's really good quality. And then this is just my other monitor that I use um, just to have stuff on the side. And when I'm editing I can watch something like a podcast while I edit my YouTube videos and when I do homework I can watch stuff so it's really really nice to have. By the way, these wallpapers are from Kenya Studies on Instagram. She makes the cutest monthly wallpapers. So I bought this from Amazon and I love it. It is perfect for all of my school supplies. So in here I just keep all of my sticky notes. These are all like my main pens like black, red, and blue. And then these are all like my colored pens. One of my best friends got me all of these for taking notes and I absolutely love these colored Muji pens um, for like drawing diagrams in my notes. Um, just lip balm, this is like an essential oil balm. This is my stapler and whiteout and then I just have a USB here if I need to transfer any documents to my laptop. These are my holy grail highlighters. These are the um, Zebra midliners and I have them in pretty much every single color and I love using these for my notes and I kind of just color coordinated them so like all the orange, greens, and yellows are in the back and then the pink, purples, and blues are in the front and I really like how well it fits on this monitor stand and how it's black and just blends right into the desk I've done my best with cable management obviously you can't hide all the cables but I think it looks pretty good this is my keyboard. I love this keyboard. It's a Logitech G910 and I just made all the colors pink because I love pink and I have these ergonomic wrist pads from Amazon that I got. I don't really use this one too much to be honest but I use this one all the time and it's really really helped with wrist pain from typing all day. This is my mouse. It's the Logitech G203 Progeny gaming mouse. It just fits really nicely in my hand and has a few buttons on the side. Yeah, I really like this mouse. This is my mouse pad. It's like one that's long enough to fit both my keyboard and my mouse and it has an LED light on it. This is just from Amazon. To be honest, I don't really like it that much. I do think it's a little small. I would prefer a bigger one just because my keyboard is so big. But if you had like one of those like ducky keyboards that are smaller, this mouse pad would be nice. But honestly, it works fine. I don't think I need to buy another one. So now going underneath my desk, I've reorganized everything and it looks so much neater now. This is just like an ergonomic footrest that I have because the legs are quite short. I'm only 5'4", so when I sit in my chair, my feet kind of dangle. So I use that um, and I got it off Amazon. It's just made out of like memory foam. As you guys can tell, I really care about being ergonomic. My sister is a kinesiologist and and she really emphasizes being ergonomic and stuff. I think it's really good, especially with online school. You're in your desk pretty much all day, so you really need to take care of your body. So this is what it looks like underneath my desk. I got that um, extension cord from Amazon and I bought these really sticky double-sided um, adhesive tape things to stick it up underneath my desk and it hasn't fallen and it's been like that for probably like nine or ten months now. It just makes it really nice and neat so when you're standing it doesn't really look messy at all. 
That's just my garbage can. It's from Ikea. This is my printer. My boyfriend got me this printer when I first started college and I've used it ever since. I love this printer. It comes with a little scanner and it's been working really well for me. I really love this printer. I got this laminator because of nursing school and it's helped so much with making my cheat sheets for um, clinical and I am just storing it on here and they both fit so nicely underneath so I'm so happy about that and under here I just have extra paper so this is just like my printer paper graph paper and then these are like the sheets that I use for my laminator and then I just have like some envelopes and this like paper cutter thing that came with my laminator and this one I just have all my binders for school so every term um, I use just like one inch binders for each class that I have and that way I can stay organized for exams and just for the term I have just my term stuff and this is just my drug card binder so in here I have all of my drug cards that I've made um, sorted alphabetically and in here are just all of my extra school supplies I don't know I just really hate the feeling of running out of school supplies and having to run to the store and get stuff so I always buy extra and just replenish it um, as I go so um, in here <laughs> I have tons of whiteout yeah I don't know what's wrong with me I can't keep track of when I buy whiteout like in my last vlog I literally went out to buy whiteout but I have so many so I finally organized them put them somewhere so that whenever I run out I can just grab from this bin those are just extra batteries. These are just like some stationary things that came with my laminator. Um, I have extra paper clips, staples, pens, um, a paper clip holder, sticky notes, extra zebra midliner highlighters. And then up there are just a bunch of empty Muji pens. If you do like Muji pens, instead of buying brand new pens every single time, you can just buy pen refills. That is a much cheaper option than rebuying the entire pen itself. All right, so the next thing is this cart that I am able to just tuck right underneath my desk. So in it, I have my rulers. This is my hole puncher. Um, this is my laptop stand. Scissors, a hole puncher for um, my shrinkies. And this little tray I got from Dollar Store. It's super, super convenient. It has a bunch of paper clips, thumbtacks, just more stationary things just a bunch of like electronic stuff like USB-C converters and headphone splitters and stuff like that in here I'm gonna keep my planner and these are just my Sony wireless headphones I bring these everywhere to like work and stuff but when school starts and I study in the library these will be great because these are noise cancelling and they're just amazing for the gym and stuff um, and this is my pencil case that I bring to school the last thing is my laptop and my tablet pen because my laptop is a two-in-one converts from like a laptop to a tablet but yeah and I forgot this is from Amazon it's like this glass uh, monitor holder and it's like amazing because it keeps my monitor at a good ergonomic height for me and also I can store stuff underneath so when I um, am taking notes I just kind of slide all of the stuff underneath and I have my entire desk space to take handwritten notes and stuff this is also a, like a little ring light that I bought I use this also just like for lighting but mostly I use this for taking notes and I just shift it over here and when I take handwritten notes I really like to have like a bright light over my paper so I can see properly so that's what I have this for and also it can hold like my headset I bought these little cable holders from Amazon so you can kind of just stick them in here um, so this is like my laptop charger my phone charger and then when I have my headset not charging I put the charger in here and that way I don't have to like keep reaching over to grab my cables and it's all really organized and neat so that's pretty much the end of this video i hope you guys liked watching me renovate my desk and do kind of like a full desk tour i'm really happy with how it turned out and everything's really organized and clean which is exactly what i wanted so make sure you guys subscribe like this video and also turn on post notifications to find out when i post next and i will see you guys in the next video bye